Welcome. Gracie and I are on a big backpack hiking and fishing adventure. It's gonna be 11 days. She's packing heavy and I'm packing heavy. I've got about 64 pounds. I got a lot of her food. My plan is fishing trout lakes, five of them to be exact, and I'm hoping for big fish. And we are so glad you're coming along. Could be a coyote, could be a wolf, but very, very fresh today. Gracie, this looks great. We're gonna make this our backpack camp. This is the map that we're using. We hiked up this way and then curved this way, went past this lake, and then started to go up and down. I think we went up and down probably 20 times and came across here coming to Scab Lake. And it was an 8.4 mile hike. 2,850 feet of elevation gain, 9,550 feet above sea level. Scab Lake. This day's in the books. Good night. Good morning. Nice night, nothing below about 50 degrees in the tent. Today's plan is I'm gonna be fishing for big brook trout. Hopefully I can catch them. Fourth strike I've had, and I haven't landed any of them. On my fifth strike, I caught this 14 inch male brookie, one pound. Beautiful colors, blue halos, red dots, this red orange belly, gorgeous fish. 14 inch brookie, about a pound, beautiful. Caught this one on a gold daredevil spoon, one ounce. Brookie, about the same size. Oh, that's gorgeous. Those blue halos and red dots, my goodness. Another one about the same size on the gold daredevil. Cut it on a green woolly bugger. back from fishing, the report is five fish. I kept two and filleted them, so now I'm gonna cook them and eat them. Panko breadcrumbs and Zataran's blackening mix. I'm gonna put the fish in there. The Bridger Teton National Forest Rangers, I called them before I came up here and they said not to have any campfires because it is so dry up here. So I'm just going to do olive oil and clarified butter. 
what they look like going in. The fish is cooked, now I'm gonna eat it. Brook trout is one of my very favorite. Can you see that? Real pink. Very delicious. Doesn't taste like fish. That blackening really brings out the flavor. Mm. The sun's just about down, but I thought I would go ahead and do a little fishing before the night's end. Not as big as earlier, but beautiful. Well, this day's coming to a close. I'm gonna wrap it up right here on Lakeside. Good night. Good morning. Today we're gonna to be trail hiking through the Bridger Wilderness to Star Lake, where we're gonna be doing some more fishing and camping in the wild. Wow, you can really see the smoke haze here. And I checked in this area to see if there were any forest fires and they said there were not. We are passing by Monroe Lake. Looks like a small bear, eating berries though. Doesn't look like it, got, well there's a little hair in there. We finished our mountain hiking today. We hiked past two alpine lakes on the way here. We're going to set up our camp right in this area here, and we are at Star Lake. And this is our backpacking camp right here at Star Lake. It was a 4.6 mile hike. We gained 500 feet of elevation gain and we were camping at 9,500 feet above sea level. Big, beautiful cutthroat, 1.8 pounds. Beautiful. A silver crocodile on with reflector tape, a little red spinner on it. Cut bow. <laughs> yeah, not as big as the last one.
about the same size as the last one it's a cut bow as well on the castmaster silver with the reflector tape pretty fish they're aggressive okay i'm done fishing for the day gracie seemed a little off today so once we got to camp she just slept this is the end of day number three. Good night. Top of the morning. It's a glorious day in the wilderness. Today's plan is to do some trout fishing. Got one. Only seven feet deep there, or 14 feet deep there. Oh! Oh no, he ran, he ran into shore. On a silver cast master with the reflector tape. This is a seven count down. Beautiful fish. Another one in the same spot. It's a smaller cut bow, but this is going to be my fishing catch and cook for the day. Nice fish. Wow, what a fillet. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. That's gonna be good. That's gotta be a wolf. That is just enormous. Another hybrid, a cut bow. Not that big, but aggressive. These are fish are so aggressive. Another cut bow. On the silver castmaster, probably about 15 inches, pound and a quarter. I'm back at camp. I fished all the way around the lake. I caught four fish. Time for the fish fry. I'm gonna do something a little different with the puddle fry. I'm just gonna use Zatarain's blackened seasoning. Try one and see how it works. Yeah, that's how it turned out. I think it looks pretty darn good. It can be spicy. I decided just to do the one in the blackening, and then I'm going to use the trout mix for the rest. And all breaded. This is the blackened cut bow trout. And there's the blackened one. Now the trout mixed ones. that look good or what? First one I'm going to try is the one with the trout mix on it. I'm going to put a little salt on it. Mm, that's so good. And now the blackened one. Isn't that black? Woo, they, the reason they call that blackening. Of the two, this is my favorite. This is the end of the day. Really interesting over the last Full four days I have only seen four people I saw two people on horseback coming up to Scab Lake and then I saw two 
people fishing right over here. This must be like a corner of the wilderness that very few people come to. But good fishing. I enjoy it. Well, good night. Good morning. It's time to pack up our backcountry camp here at Star Lake, hit the mountain trail, and hike on down to our next wilderness lake and camp. Like cat, maybe a coyote. A little bit trout just swam into the camera. That's where I'm at. Yummy mushrooms. It's as big as two softballs. Definitely bear scat. And got an animal. Long distances between water holes. And it's hot. Those granite peaks, that is what the Wind River Range is known for. Our first glimpse of Wolf Lake. Trace, I think this is gonna be our camp. There's a fire pit right here. Our tent will go right here. We are camping right on that point right there. And we're at about 9,600 feet above sea level. Even though it was only a 7.2 mile hike and 1,500 feet of elevation gain from Star Lake here to Wolf Lake, it was still a hard backpack hike. Not as hard as the first day. Well, what do you think of this place? I think it's absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Another cool thing is we've seen nobody all day and we've covered a lot of ground and been at a lot of junctions and we've seen no one. I hear no one. This place is so isolated and people don't come here because they go to the big mountains. Well, this is going to be the end of this day. Good night. Good morning. This is the beginning of our sixth day. How was your night in the tent, Grace? From the moment we got here, you just laid down and slept. You did eat your dinner and then you just went back to bed. Had to get up once in the middle of the night. But do you like our camp? You're not much into talking, are you? No. Nope. If you made me choose one lure to bring into the Wyoming Wind River Range, this would be the lure. The Castmaster Silver with the reflector tape on it. This Castmaster sinks at about two feet a second. Beautiful rainbow. 
that's probably about 15 inches about a pound and a quarter it's gonna make for a nice fish dinner Beautiful brookie. Tiny, but pretty healthy. Green woolly bugger. This is what's left of the dam here at Wolf Lake. Interesting dam. Got it on the green woolly bugger. Nice female brookie. Nice and chunky. Well, that's the end of my first section of fishing. I'm going to go cook that fish that I caught and eat it. Rainbow trout filet. Doing the panko and Zatarain's blackened mix. That's what it looks like already. Rainbow trout. What I really like about the blackening is that it darkens it really nice. Dark golden. It's beautiful. It's time to eat them. Rainbow trout with blackening is excellent. Nothing like fresh fish. This day is drying to a close. Wolf Lake isn't what I thought it was going to be. As far as fishing is concerned, I thought it would be a little stronger. Beautiful place, gorgeous scenery, beautiful water, great campsite. Just wish the fishing was better. But tomorrow, we will go to another lake. With that said, good night. Good morning. We are on the hiking trail, making our way up to another high mountain lake today. Jesse Lake. Blue, blue sky today. So overhead, the sun is beating down on this girl. There's a frog right there. That is Silver Lake. North Fork, Silver Creek Lake. Upper Silver Lakes. We found our campsite. It's thundering. Gracie does not like thunder. She makes my point better than I do. Funny up here is you hear this thunder and you think it's going to rain on you and it only sprinkles on you. Or <laughs> it's a deluge. If it deluges, we're drenched here. We're like in a little bowl and all the water will just 
going right to our tent. But I had to find something quick. We'll see if I made a mistake or not. It's just not a sprinkle, it's a, but it's not a deluge. But we got here just in time got the tent put up. Happened so many times to be like that. Very lucky. It's cleared up and thunders moved on and Gracie's no worse for the wear camping right in this area right here and it was a seven and a half mile hike it was an 1100 foot elevation gain 10,000 feet above sea level upper silver lakes Good night. Good morning. Great night last night. Rained on and off most of the night, but it's cleared up. Blue sky. So I'm going to fish right here. I've been kind of scouting out from up above. Jake's been a lure on. count to the bottom means it's close to it's between 20 and 26 feet deep oh yeah good fighter probably about 11 inches beautiful colors on the brookie we have a half a pound. All I need is one fish for eating. I don't need two or three. Look at that filet. What a beautiful piece of meat. Eight count down. 13 inch but fat. It's probably about a pound and a quarter. Beautiful, beautiful male brookie. It's about a 13 incher fat like the other ones. Nice chunky female. Probably about 12 inches. Caught seven fish on these lakes. Uh, it's really good, pretty fast fishing, but I'm done fishing for right this moment. I've decided to backpack hike over to another lake. It's on the way to the final lake that was on this trip. So it's gonna be an added high mountain lake.
Gracie. We're gonna make our camp right here. We're gonna put our tent right there. We're at Raid Lake. We are camped up on this knoll right here. It was a five mile hike, a thousand foot of elevation gain, and we are camping at 10,000 feet. Trout right it. See how beautiful that looks? Wow. Brook trout out of upper Silver Creek Lakes. Hmm. That's delicious. I just got to enjoy the sun setting on the Wind River Mountains here. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty cool. This is an absolutely beautiful place. Good morning. Today's plan is to fish Raid Lake. I've been here before and I've caught two to three pound Mackinac's and there's supposed to be bigger fish than that in here. I'm gonna fish it all day and see if I can get one of those big ones. That would be fun. Nice big brookie, beautiful colors. Probably about a pound and a half. Back from fishing, the report is catching sucked. Fishing was great. I caught one brook trout, about a pound and a half, beautiful colors. Had about four strikes, but I couldn't get anything to take and no Mackinac. This is the strangest thing because Mackinac are so aggressive. Evening is approaching. Today's day was a bit of a disappointment with regard to catching fish. I was expecting to be able to just like one right after the other catch these Mackinac at a raid lake and it did not happen. Probably tried 10, 12 different lures. I tried every depth. I probably casted 800 times today. The scenery though was unbelievable and it just got better as I got over in this area over here on the lake and I could see up into Bonneville Basin and that's Raid Peak right there and that's where Bonneville Basin is but I got some awesome photography of that up in there. The most exciting part of Raid Lake is the view <laughs> and this campsite that I picked <laughs> it's just awesome. Good night. Good morning. Today we're going to be backpack hiking over to another mountain lake. Gracie hasn't been at the top of her game for several days. She's been sitting out a lot of the shots, but she's a trooper. She keeps on going, don't you Gracie girl?
check out the view they had. This is Little Divide Lake. Gracie, this is gonna be our camping site right here. We are camping right in this area right here. It was about a seven mile hike with a 950 foot elevation gain at 9,700 feet above sea level. Wide Lake. Well, this is the end of day number 10, and it was quite the day. The views on the hike were just spectacular. It took me two hours to go a mile. It was just unbelievable how beautiful everything was. I couldn't move very fast, and probably a good thing Gracie wasn't feeling good. You know, we weren't moving really fast and working really hard. Divide Lake, it was well worth the hike. Supposed to have some good fishing in it. We'll find out tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. It's time to go do what I came here to do most of all. I fished halfway around the lake, probably cast and reeled in 300 times. No strikes, no evidence of fish, no minnows, nothing followed my lure in. Well, yep. all finished on Divide Lake. Today is the last day of our 11 day overnight hiking excursion. I'm packing 55 today, Gracie's packing two. That's 57, we started with 72. So we have burned through 15 pounds of provisions. This is the conclusion of this adventure, and I thought I'd just give a few of my thoughts. The negative ones first. First one was that Gracie wasn't feeling good. She had some kind of dysentery thing, maybe Jardia. Second thing is the fishing on Raid Lake and Divide Lake. Not as good as I had hoped. Now the good stuff. The fishing was really good at Star Lake. That's where I caught a 1.8 pound cutthroat. My favorite backpacking day was from Wolf Lake up to Upper Silver Lake. And the reason for that is we came out of the forest and then went into the high mountain meadows. Then we could start seeing the Wyoming Wind River Range panoply of peaks. The contrast of the two, that's what was so interesting to me. My favorite campsite was at Raid Lake. We overlooked Raid Lake and then we could see all the peaks up above there. Raid Peak and Nylon Peak and all those there. And as far as the scenery is concerned, when we were at Cross Lake, Raid Lake, and South Fork Lake, that whole section in there where we could see the whole Wind River Range. It was just amazing how beautiful it was. Thank you for coming along with Gracie and I. 
So, until next time.